And I've seen it from the heydays when I first started here uh, back in the early 70s. You know, there were, there were uh, 15, 18, 20,000 on a Saturday night, you know, and we don't get that in a year's time now, you know, I mean, but the handles are, are, are good. We handle well here, you know, with the afternoon racing, they seem to, they seem to like us. You know, they, when I first started, I used to run down after every race, I'd run down the apron and back up here. I okay. think that's what got me in shape. My name is John Flynn. I'm the uh, program director at Monticello Raceway. I've been here for 46 years. And to my credit, I have never taken a sick day in 46 years. I can remember, and just a, a funny story, I can remember when I, the first night I worked here, uh, I was with two, there were two women that worked, there used to be eight people in the racing office, and now there's one, but there used to be three of us upstairs here. And I was sitting in the middle because I was the charter, and then there was a, a girl that did the running numbers, which is my job now too. Uh, I put up the first four numbers of the horses out there. And the other one took the chart. We didn't have a tape recorder then or anything. She would take what I, the call that I made. And the first race that night, when they turned for home, it was a Saturday night, the, this whole building shook from the people in the grandstand. They were jumping up and down and it was making this the whole building shake. And I looked to both sides of me and said, you know, like, what's going on here? And they were just doing their job, you know, and stuff. And they explained to me that that's what it was. It used to be exciting, I mean, you know, to come in here and hear the crowd and to see the apron down, down below here completely packed, you know. We're staying alive through OTB, but we don't have the people here anymore. And that used to make it a lot more exciting. It used to be the place to be. I mean, you used to see people come in here with limousines, you know, and fur coats, and it used to be the place to, to hang out.